Hello, and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today, I will be finishing issue 77, which currently is the last issue I have, with, on the uh, Volkswagen T T1 Samba, from Fan Home. Forgot all that. This is what came with issue 77, and there's some parts and some screws, but just like in many of the issues, and I actually appreciate the way they're doing it, so it's not one of these things of, like many of us who are doing this model have complained about earlier, where you get a part, you look at it, you go, yay, and you put it away. What they're doing is actually, you put this away for a later date, you got this from issue 76, this from issue 75, so you actually have something worthwhile to do on each stage. So like I said, it shows the assembly diagram for this and the rest of the rest of the door. It tells you first thing step is to retrieve issue 76. You got issue 75. Let me go ahead and get 76 opened and get the screws put away and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so literally there were was this panel, some screw, some BD-04s and some PP-09 screws. First thing it says to do is take your parts and you're gonna have, you have to move this hinge out of the way because this hinge has to go on here and just pop the panel on here like this. It should actually line up. Okay, that's that's what's blocking me. These two holes here correspond to these two pins here, and I was missing with one of the pins. These are going to hit the sockets for the screws. Everything else should be just fine. So let me try this again. And what you heard popping was it going over a couple of spots here, right here and the hinge here. These hinges on this one where we had to, on the front doors, we actually attached them. I think if I remember right, these are actually riveted on there. And I just noticed I may have to change out this window. There is a slight rub from where I'm had this little screwdriver slide on it. And so the first thing it says to is to put four BDO4 screws, one here, 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 and here. And so I've got the oil already out. Let me get four screws. This is actually going to be a really quick issue, I believe. Dip it in the oil. Compared to the last one, the last one took quite a bit to do because of the pins and the fact that I put the window on backwards on both hinges originally. There's two. And honestly, I could probably leave it at this, but if the plastic were to start warping, that would be a bad thing. And I'm actually tightening these all all the way down because the posts are in place. They're not, the uh, other posts are not gonna move at all. When I usually do the, uh, leave the screws loose, it's because I might have to adjust a little bit. There's three, Let me get number four here. And that is step 77F, or no, sorry, that's step 77D. 77F says to secure the hinge with the BP09 screws. So let me move this, this over here. Get two BP09s. Very gently. Let me close the oil while I'm thinking about it. Not need it anymore. Very gently, very carefully. 
because I do made many mistakes in the last issue. Get this lined up. I can get it to stay on the screwdriver. Let me try the pH OO on the screw. And of course, now the hinges drop down. Get this lined up, and so the screw's still hanging on the uh, screwdriver. Just get it started. Do the same with this one. Come on, get in there. Get it started. Tighten them the whole way down. And if you watch the last video, You'll see, just making sure that these are completely tight, you'll see that what I was talking about there is actually how the window works. So you close the window, you pull the handle over, and that literally works exactly the way it did on the car itself. It's latched right now. It's not going to move. When you pop this over, it'll actually push out like that. That is really kind of, to me, that's kind of ingenious for 60s engineering. The only thing is, I'm too big to reach my hand in there. Pop that back in, close it, and it is a firm, firm, um, firmly seated. If the black paint on here was actually the rubber, this would be waterproof. I believe, Yes, that is all there is to do in this stage. So now that we've got the door panel on here and the first door, or yeah, the first door panel in the back, let me bring over the rest of the external panels we have so far. We've got the front, which if you look here, this is gonna have the same type of pop-open window. We've got the two doors in the front here, and yes, you can see right there, like I was talking about. Come on, zoom in or focus there. Those screws there, those hinges were actually attached by me. Same with the one on the engine compartment and the rear bumper. So that's what I've got at this point, not counting the chassis and the interior. I'm enjoying this build. It is a lot of fun for me because we own this exact car as a kid. It's more probably more fun for me than it is for, would be for a lot of people. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope you have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Like, subscribe. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers. See what we're doing, what we're about. See what we're doing. We're both on Facebook and on YouTube. And I will see you on the next video.